Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. Town of Frisco is wrestling with ways to rethink child care, starting with Summit County Preschool on Main Street, and Councilman Andrew Aronson has a problem with teacher pay there. Do teachers really make only twelve fifty an hour? Are they still getting people at that? The information that we have from Summit County Preschool still indicated that the starting salary, the basic starting salary, was still at twelve fifty per hour. Correct. <laughs> okay. Let's fix that. <laughs> yeah, there, there, that might be an issue. Other problems are tuition, up to $1,500 per child per month, and a growing wait list of 245 children for just 75 open seats. Tune in today at 4 and 5 for more on Frisco's child care discussion. A 33-year-old local man is back in Summit County Jail facing a felony and more for allegedly assaulting a cop in Breckenridge July 3rd. Alex Joseph Knoll has spent time behind bars before, most recently in January, for allegedly stealing a car in Dillon. That came with six other charges, including one for an illegal firearm. Knoll remains in jail on $7,500 bond. In 2019, another man was found guilty of assaulting an officer in Breck and is now serving 13 years in prison. A 58-year-old woman last seen in Breckenridge has been missing for nearly five days. The Summit Daily reports Leslie Culver went missing around 8 p.m. this past Saturday. She was looking for a ride on Main Street. Culver is 5 feet tall, wearing glasses and short brown hair with blonde highlights. Call Breck PD with info. Colorado's new body cam footage law is being tested in Idaho Springs just days after it was signed by the governor. The law requires, quote, efficient release of body cam footage in suspected cases of deadly or excessive force. On May 30th, a man in his 70s was tased by police for allegedly wielding a weapon. On July 7th, one day after the law was signed, Officer Nicholas Hanning was charged with felony assault on an at-risk adult. A judge said yesterday the footage must go public in two weeks, with some footage being blurred to protect private details. The state's most popular 14er is getting a shuttle service. Starting July 30th, you must reserve a spot for hiking at Quandary Peak or shuttle to the trailhead from the Ice Arena parking lot. Offenders will be ticketed. The shuttle service is free to start. No word yet on the cost to the county or town. There's a new town manager in Frisco. Tony O'Rourke was offered the job last night. He comes to Frisco with 20 years experience in Beaver Creek, Canyon City, and more. Town council was impressed by his background balancing tourism, workforce, and the arts. O'Rourke starts on August 2nd, replacing interim town manager Jeff Durbin. In sports, the American League beat the National League 5-2 at last night's MLB All-Star Game at Coors Field. That's the eighth straight win for the AL. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. Today in Breck is race three of the Summit Mountain Challenge Town Series at the Pennsylvania Gulch Grind. Youth racers will get a time trial at Aspen Alley. Mountain bikers lead the start line at 535, and day of registration is still open until about 4 at MABSports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.